I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm in Forest, Illinois. Run, Lou, run to Forest, Illinois. So I'm with Barry. Barry, your last name? Kale. And today's a survivor car, a fantastic car. Barry, what year make and model is this one? It's a 1961 Imperial Custom Southampton. Nice. So let's take a look at this one, and you're going to enjoy this. So, Barry, come right alongside me. You've watched the channel. Tell me how wide this car is. 81.7. It's the widest car ever built. Widest car ever built. That has a presence. If you've talked about this thing is a yacht, this thing is a boat, well, all aboard, here we go. So, you can see the Imperial script nicely there you get this wonderful badge i love the way they made that the red or orangish around it to really make it stand out no matter where you're at and these great headlights notice being a survivor it's got a few chips on it and this massive bumper for sure now these floating headlights tell me barry why this car out of all the cars in the world well i was looking for a car i thought i'd like to have something I've never really had a car. My uncle had this car, uh, offered it to me, and I at first I didn't really like the color. And I don't like pink, but it's really not quite pink. But the more I thought about it, the more I liked it because this thing's like a time capsule. The color, the fins, the add-on air conditioning, the size of it. Uh, Let's move back so we can see the size of it. Come on with me. Go ahead, you're sharing. So that's why you like this car. Yep. It grew on you. It grew on me. Yeah. Let me just go right here. With those headlights, there was a reason why you liked those headlights. Well, 1962 Beverly Hillbillies came on the TV and I was watching it and I loved the headlights on that 62 Imperial that the banker Milburn Drysdale drove. <laughs> I, I never thought I'd ever have a chance to own, own one of these cars with those headlights. but. And here it goes back that far. <laughs> here they are. So I'm, I'm taking all this in. We are going to turn it around for you at some point so you can see it from the back. But just look at how the chrome strip with that Imperial, the, the chrome around the bumper. We're going to tell you about the tail lights when I do the, the fins, what they're called. You've got that bird there, this chrome piece that comes all the way down, the chrome that goes all the way back and around, the chrome around the windows. This great chrome piece here. Just lather it on all the chrome. Back to the headlights for a second. They call these the floating headlights and you can see why. You put your hand back there, as you can see. And I'll tell you while we're here, Barry, let's open the hood, shall we? We've got the sun on the uh, motor part here. That is great. That is a massive hood. Let me just show how tall that hood goes up. My! That's probably close to seven feet in the air. And the original Imperial emblems. All this room up here with the horns. When we have you started, I'll have you uh, beep the horn if that's all right. And then uh, we have the air conditioning that was the aftermarket. Let me just show one other thing. Don't start it just yet. There's our badge sharing all the details there that you can see. All the numbers. Our power brakes. Go ahead. Let's let's fire it up. What's the engine? 413. 413. 413. Imperial there. Keep that horn if you would please. Nice. <laughs> All aboard. Let me listen to that exhaust. We'll step on the brakes for just a second. Go ahead, step on the brakes, please. 
There's the, one more time, you can see them there. It's pretty bright out, but you can see it. Go ahead, let's, uh, let's let, let it idle first. Listen to that, sounds like a boat. Go ahead, give it a rev. One more time. That's the rocks fly. Listen to that. that as your ringtone and put the baby to sleep that's great all right we're gonna turn it around for you so I shared with you that I'd show it to you from the back and this trunk has a lot going on first of all we've got these amazing fins just fantastic as we get closer we see the script Imperial we have this great jet on the trunk this logo, the Imperial logo, as you can see, this this comes down. That's how you actually open it. Works this great. These sparrow catchers here on the side. Massive fins. I just want to show you the fin from the side as well as the tail light. So you can see that you can put your hands through there. And that's where the story goes, where the sparrow would come off here and get caught in this torture light that it has. Gary, let's... Uh, show them this is where the gas goes please open that for a second okay so that goes there an interesting story shut that for just a second tell me about uh, the mileage for this one. Well, I took it to Dubuque Iowa a couple years ago and I checked and I got 17.3 on them that is uh, amazing yep. for a car this big that's absolutely amazing let's show them what's in the trunk right oh well, we've got the light on it here so we have our Imperial owner's guide and we've got our certified car care and this was what you had when you would go into the dealer you would get these so many miles you bring your certificate in and they would make sure that you had all of your lubrication right this is all original so I'm gonna keep it very tidy notice the Imperial script by the way the trunk you can see well is massive you have the jack instructions there this wonderful spare tire here you can see the jack is stored there this nice cardboard piping and again it's all original so you can see here you're operating the headlights we're gonna find out more about the dash when we get to the interior Your automatic beam changer, the lock, unlock. So let's uh, actually feature some of those things and go to the interior. Let's close this, shall we? Again, I just want to step to the side of this car and I want to give this view right here with the fence. So Barry, I know you've taken this one to show a couple of times. Do you see any other Imperials when you're out there? Very few, very few. What's the, uh, that's actually where it came from, Farmington, Illinois. What's the, uh, what's the reaction when they see this? Uh, the, the color j jumps out, you know. They what's had, the color on this one? It's Malibu tan. Malibu tan. Yeah, back in the day there was, they, you know, pastel colors, but all one color like this is just a little unusual. Yeah, and I just want to make sure I feature that roof. How that chrome piece just splash on more chrome wherever possible. So I'm going to start with the back, may I? Yes. Thank you. So when I open up the back, you have this great presentation here. Lots of room to get in. You have your door handle. You have your Imperial logo, the power. Tell me what that is. That's a door lock. That's a door lock. Okay, got it. You can see the captain's chair is a little bit taller than the other ones. We're going to have a fun story about the back seat when we take, take it for a ride. You have this really interesting piece here on that roof line. And you're going to see out this panoramic window. It's just amazing. All right, let's, uh, let's open the front, shall we? And while you're opening that door, I just want to show people um, 
You know what, like, can, let me just, uh, can we turn it on for a second, just straighten that wheel out for a moment for me? While you're doing that, I'm going to be featuring this. Even though they had the little chrome pieces here, they add that. Your Imperial logo, your power windows, your door lock, another logo. Notice how it contours to the body here. Just everything, lots of different patterns going on. It's pretty windy in here, as you can hear. The captain's chair there. Greeted by the Imperial as you come into it. We're going to tell you a story about the Irving Air Chute Company when we take a ride in it. Notice you've got the room for two there. We'll also feature that. We'll bring Barry's wife along with us when we take a ride. But look at that instrumentation. That just makes you feel special when you get in this car, right? Yeah. There's your transmission. Look at even the chrome, how it goes along. Goes around the front there. Wraps around down there. Comes to the word Imperial. You have your Here's something interesting. Again, in the ride, I'll tell you what that means. Actually, Barry will tell you what that means because I was learning. Your radio. This is your aftermarket air conditioning. And this actually blows super cold. Super cold. Not kind of cold. Like, you better get a blanket when you're with this one. There's your heating here, your air, your antenna, power antenna? Power antenna? Yes, power antenna. Okay. Ignition. You can hear it, and yes, you can see it. That clock works from the Survivor car. That's incredible. Just incredible. The wipers, the lights. Really good. The Imperial logo there. Nice steering wheels we showed you from there. So Barry, I think the only thing we got left to do is take it for a ride. What do you think? Well, let's do it. So nice here we are in the 61 Imperial, and as you can see, we've got Rose who came along with us for the ride. Rose, nice to have you with us. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Barry's with us. The funny part is Rose, when we uh, were getting in, she goes, do you want me to get in the back? I said, no, I think we got enough room in the front of this thing. I think, I think we'll be okay for sure. Barry, you've got kind of an interesting story. Tell me about the other person uh, who knew who had an Imperial. What was their story for you? Yeah, I was at a car show, and this gentleman come up, and he was telling me his best friend had a 61 Imperial. That was his car when he was in high school. High school car? Yeah. He told me how much he enjoyed riding around in that thing, and he said, you know, he said the back seat was big enough in that thing you could get five cheerleaders in there. <laughs> Sorry, because we laughing at that point. <laughs> kind of a guy moment there. Now, back to the educational part. So, uh, tell me what we told people we we're going to tell them about the Fasten Irvine seat belts. Tell them about what that means. Well, during World War One, there was a man by the name of Stanley Irvin that started building parachutes for uh, the Air Force. And after World War One, he built built them for air forces around the world. And at some point, Barney Oldfield, the race car driver, came to him and wanted him to make a seat belt for his race car. And that got him started in the seat belt business. And they, they made aftermarket they made aftermarket seat belts uh, up into the 60s, especially for, for like Corvettes. Is that right for the Corvettes? And yet we've got them in this car. I just want to show people what we've got here. Look at this beautiful country road that we are out in Forest, Illinois. That's just, that's funny, it's a slow school zone. I don't think anybody goes slow <laughs> on this road, except us, we're kind of cruising. We're enjoying it. 
Rose, do you go to many car shows? Oh, quite a few, but not near as many as Barry. Yeah. Near. What do you like when you go to the car shows? Uh, I don't have to cook that day. And I, I'm a people watcher, so I enjoy that. Yeah, lots of people there. Lots of good stuff. Well, we've definitely got the uh, story in of the uh, other Imperial owner. We've got the fun story with the Irvin seat belts and uh, so much fun coming out and getting the chance to video. I just want to let people see a little bit more of this. This will bring your blood pressure down. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. Look at the panoramic window on this car. No one on the road. That's just beautiful. Guys, thanks so much for letting me come out. Thanks so much for spending the time to bring this great car out. Thanks so much for being on my car story. Lou, thanks for uh, coming out. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you too. It was much, a lot of fun. Thank you.